<clears throat> and we're off. Um, good evening, heroes and heroines, and welcome to ASMR with yours truly. Uh, now, if you don't know what ASMR is, as I didn't before yesterday, it is uh, it is this. Yeah, it is that. Uh, for an explanation of that, <laughs> maybe just watch yesterday's. Maybe watch the archive of yesterday's stream. Uh, so, for a start, uh, thanks again to Strange Zach, who's just been streaming. Um, had quite a good day of streams, actually. We've had um, Steel Golem before. He was, uh, he was doing something. Um, but I'm honestly not sure what he was doing, because uh, I was just too busy listening to Kate Bosch. He was playing Kate Bush on his stream, and that's all I could, uh, all I could put my attention into. Hello, Rasoilo. Good to see you. Uh, yeah, Steel Golem was doing something. He was working on a game. It was a, it was a game in which you can run around, and uh, it seemed to be like a, like a 2D top-down kind of dungeon, ro roguelike maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, so that was then. Then we had Strange Zack, who's working on a game called... Velt, is what it's called. Hello Strange Zack. Great to see you. Thanks again for your stream. Uh, a good job, actually, <laughs> with all the, uh, all the retakes that you had to do. Um, yeah, basically, um, for the archive, um, now that Columbia knows that you're kind of going to be in the archive, he should probably just, um, he'll probably just download the, download the stream from Twitch itself, and then he will upload it to the YouTube, um, handmade, handmade archivist, uh, thing. So that's kind of how that works, roughly. Uh, He'll just um, he'll put them into here, and uh, then it'll all be good. Yeah. So, do I need to do anything else? I've gone live. I've got my webcam on. I've got my mic on. I've got my uh, colour things there. Ah, shit. Let's have a look. Uh, so my mic is. There we go. Was that when I was just messing about with all this stuff? Maybe. Um, I mean, there's not really much I can do specifically because uh, the only monitoring I've got is actually here. That's the only monitoring I have. Um, so I don't know. I, c I can't even actually hear one. One. Say so, yeah, if I just, uh, if I just, uh, can I send that to the playback? Just gonna look. Okay, so I can hear myself. Uh, hopefully, this uh, won't sound at all weird for you guys. Uh, it sounds roughly all right to me though. I'm gonna turn that off. Obviously, because it sounds. Ridiculous being able to hear myself. Uh, yeah, hopefully it's okay now, though. Uh, so, what do I do? Yeah, oh no, I can just see the code. I don't want to be able to see the code. This is what I was doing yesterday. So, the program that I was working on yesterday, it uh, did 
it had no output unless you gave it some input. So if I just give it some, well actually, give it some numbers, and I kind of, I kind of realised that I was using the same numbers all the time. It was basically these these numbers. I think it was those numbers all. Five was one of them. Maybe. Well, basically, all, all it does at the moment is it takes in this input, it prints out. Uh, well, actually, it, it first of all. Um, or does it? Actually, I think maybe it just the weirdness is intermittent. Right. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um. Didn't have nothing there. Okay, I'll try and be. I'll try and be still as much as possible. Mm. The mic is there, isn't it? Actually, I tell you what. It could even be the. Um, it could be the cable, isn't it? it? Could be that. I'll try and. I'll try and. Not touch it. In fact, I'll tell you what. It's probably the. Um, it's probably actually the sound card. Honestly, looks like it's been disconnected and connected again. Right. Okay, I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll, I'll put some music on, so I can actually hear what's going on with the sound card. Uh, and then hopefully I'll know if something's happening to the mic as well. Uh, well, I'll put on, put on Brave for now. Okay, so I can kind of hear that that's... Just turn up a bit. Yeah, that's... I think that's okay. At least it is for the um, headphones. Twitch link. What's my Twitch link? It's something like that, yeah. D7's got it. Uh, that easy, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, God, sorry about that, Steel Column. I was gonna supposed to tell you. Um, okay. Although he wouldn't have heard that because he hasn't connected yet. You have to, you'll have to catch it on the catch it on the archive. So yeah. If there's any more, um, if there's any more issues with the mic, just let me know, and hopefully I can sort it out. Uh, so yeah, basically all it does at the moment, it takes in this this array and prints it out and then I think between printing out this and printing out this it um, it converts the still got a switch muted oh right, <laughs> nice never retarded never retarded now you were playing uh, Kate Bush before, so you can't be retarded. Uh, yeah, so between it doing the pre-sort array and the post-sort array, it converted these guys into ints. Because they go in as characters, they go in as strings. It converts them to ints and sorts them, and then displays them. My God, I've got to get into Arch. Yeah, man. Arch is awesome. Arch is really great. Um, yeah, I, I, st I still need to do a, a little walkthrough of my kind of system. Because uh, Martin Cohen asked, for me, asked me to do that, so... I'm going to do that, but I'm going to wait until I've got um, a proper mic, basically. So yeah, but before I get a mic, I need to get uh, going with this. So let's first of all remove my practice.c and just uh, start all over again, basically, and see how far I get before crashing and burning. Uh, so what am I actually doing? I'm going to... Um, what I want to do is I'm going to take... Should I take input again? 
I think maybe yeah, maybe I will take him for again. Uh, just to sort of solidify my knowledge of it. And <clears throat> basically, the goal is to try and do alphanumeric sorting. So we'll kind of get to that at some point. So what we should do is R C, oh, isn't it? We should do. So if I'm sorting something, I'll just set up some things first. Now I still haven't really um, solidified what I do in terms of where, where I put these stars. Try to avoid macro functions, you have to. Um, yeah, I mean, this is it's literally just that, I mean. Because I was finding myself doing the size of stuff quite a lot. Uh, so then I just kind of thought, well, you know what? I'm just gonna, just gonna pull that out into a, just gonna make a macro of it. Are there really any fast numbers running for functions that does the same thing? Um, it was just typing really, because like, I suppose, I mean, I mean at the moment I'm, actually no, I mean even with any array, can't conserve the size, does it? Like, Did it have a function? Hmm. You can't conserve the size of a static array. Yeah, so you do need to, like, figure out the count. Count to it, don't you? Yeah, I mean, the thing was, I was, I was just doing it a lot of times, so I thought. Um, just go for it, basically. In fact, as I was uh, sort of saying, I still haven't uh, solidified what I do with these stars. Because I think previously I've just been putting them, like, there. Um, I believe there's no real difference. But um, I don't know. I haven't really come to a. I haven't really come to a sort of uh, understanding or a narrative as to what as to why I should put it one place or the other. So I don't know. Now, do I want the sort though? Because the sort is going to be, it's going to be different, really. Because previously, right, we're keeping the type separate from the variable names. Ah, uh, okay. Type to me. Right. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's also like here, isn't it? You've got the type car. Then the thing is, you've got um, stuff like this, haven't you? Oh, I mean, it's not even supposed to be there, is it? It's supposed to be there. Because then you've got stuff like this, haven't you? Start to that variable. Does it that it's int? Two pointers. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so you can see so disambiguate it more, don't you? Okay. 
you have to do? Yeah. Oh, actually, can I do that? No, that can't be right, can it? Can you do this? Uh, that. Not a preference, of course. Hmm. We just, uh, uh, just try this. I mean, obviously, you guys could just like tell me, <laughs> but it'd be a bit of practice. Ah, okay, right. Okay. That's quite alright, Mr. Fort, I mentioned. Derailing me is totally fine. So we've got this swap thing. I mean, even the swap, I'm not even sure I'm going to be able to do that. Uh, really. Or well, I'm not, not sure that I'm going to want to do that. That makes sense. So, what am I actually doing again? Um, Alpha New Mike starting. The language that I usually use is this English. So you kind of want easier to see. Yeah, well, I'm just, uh, just loading it. That's why. So, I've only done... Um, uh, maybe seven streams so far, and it's literally just been me learning. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, I'm pretty uneasy with it because I'm just learning. At least more uneasy than like uh, Zach was in, in the previous stream. Tell you what, should I just take input first? Hmm. I think I'll do the same again actually. I'll just first of all take the input and print effort. Yeah, double watch, yeah. Double watch, I'm unfamiliar. <laughs> I'll do right, see. Didn't have to think about thing much about it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that is nice. When, once you get to that level. <laughs> yeah, it totally is. I did the way the Emacs, actually. Pretty impressed with how how uh, fluent Zach was moving about his old thing. So for this, so well, that is less than... So I need to uh, always need to remember that like the first argument is the uh, program. Let's see what those news. <laughs> he must be, mustn't he? <laughs> Huh. Well, I mean, you got that OpenGL context open pretty damn cool today. Is the uh, XE? Yeah, it is. Yeah, Oxy Zero is the. Um, it will be, but it's practice. In fact, I'll just show you. It's not a car, it's a string. <coughs> Just that, isn't it? Is that what I need to do? Oh, uh, so... It's argv. 
Oh, I see, that's what I need to do, isn't it? And the new line, I forgot again. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it says. Well, I'm stuck out that the V, it's uh, that. Yeah. Yeah, I probably will want to do that actually. In fact, that's it, isn't it? <laughs> Is that right? So as it iterates through the things, it's just going to print out. Well, that's pretty damn easy. I mean, I was finding this yesterday, right? That I went through a ton of work, and at the end of it, I ended up with like one line that did exactly what I uh, wanted to be doing all that time. Have yours on Mon Three. What's Mon Three? Oh no. Now this is T Mox again. I really need to disable uh No worries, Mr. Vault Dimension. Thanks for thanks for being here. <laughs> Monitor three. Uh, take it easy, Mr. Fourth Dimension. I think you do. Eight, nine, nine. Let me see about that. Just bear with me while I just uh, switch all this stuff around again. After saying int numargs is equal to strange chat, strange X chat is also on minus three. I'll see minus one. Hang on a second. <laughs> Give us a bit more. I'll see. Equal to that, take one. Okay, yeah. Um, first die, first die. Hmm. Okay, yeah. I don't know. Should I do that? No, 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 it's first die. Maybe not actually. I think I might stick without that for now. I think well, I can keep I can keep them there anyway. But I might I might not use them. They can loop from zero to the mark instead of one to mark two. Hmm. All right then. Let's do that. Mm. 
Especially from zero to the bars. Hang on a second. I was in the car. Let's hang on, that's hard for you. What is that actually going to do now? Peaty Daddy. I've got no reason for doing it really. Uh, I mean I know that they do they do different things. Uh I haven't come across a case yet where uh it's made a difference made a difference for me. Yeah, well as I understand it, one of them sets the it kind of uses the value in it uses the value that it's set in before incrementing and the other one increments before setting before using that value it doesn't have to see, oh right yeah. is that true? I mean we could, uh, we could actually have a look at that So, hang on a second, how could I show that? Uh, N equals, you're not the same as N equals plus. Yeah. Then he's a new increment value. Yeah, that, that's what I was thinking. In case you're falling, it doesn't matter. Right. Yeah, that's as I understood it. But I haven't come across a case yet where, where it actually matters. Because I think what you're saying is in a fall leap it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the only place I've used that plus plus incrementing the value. Yeah, I think I might actually abandon this for now. Um, just so I don't get all bamboozled. Good morning, it's Faraz, my friend. How's it going? Good morning. Oh, of course, yeah, it's uh, universal greeting. But so I have managed to do this. Let's, let's see if I can just do the what was it? It was converting the string to a what was the I like the fact that Interbot knows in Terabanks. Yeah, it's going well. It's get, it is going very well. <laughs> Just starting out doing the alphanumeric sorting, which I don't know that I'll get much done, honestly, but we'll see. To, uh, right, okay, so what, what, what I'll do is actually I'll just convert these characters to ints. 
So to do that, what is it going to be? It's going to be a. It's not actually that, is it? It's n I'm not iterating over the... It's for each argument. Um, God, how did I do? Because I know that... I know what I need to do once I get there. Um, let me just go back down to one number. So for this... For this argument, I want to go through each character. I oh, just using result, you say, aren't I? Pretty sure I need another for loop to go through each character in the number. Pretty sure that's what I need to do. Though I don't remember doing a. I don't remember doing a four J loop. Necessarily. I don't think I did actually. It was. I think it was really for each character. No, it wasn't. Hmm. It's for int. But. Well, j is not equal to this. I've done a manual sort of not so. Sort it's dead easy. Can I bless the sort out? Uh, <laughs> I mean, obviously you know how to do it, right? I'd imagine. Oh, it's actually an array, isn't it? An array of ints and a count that it takes. And it's just. Um, So it's just this thing. STD colon colon sort. The only colon that I know is that I that I know is the only colon that I know is uh, Q colon. I'm afraid. And it's if J no, it's if array J is less than array I. Let me just swap them. F four. Where did the F four come from? Oh, wow, okay. I don't even know. Is it that? It might not be that, actually, but... It's not going to be far off. I think that's just it, isn't it? No, of course it isn't. At the minute, F4 is an important part of the sorting algorithm. Is it? Is it a self? <laughs> uh, oh, God, I've got nothing to actually sort of. Uh, <laughs> it's an array. 
provide it with all. Maybe it's first surprise for you to especially so yeah. Oh it's uh yeah yeah. Yeah, I think in Safar was mentioned that the other day actually. Uh I kind of considered using it. I think I tried to use it as well, but I couldn't figure it out. Uh, and then I just thought, well, sod it. Might as well just, uh, just do it myself. So, into a... What am I doing here? Oh, I'm just sorting it, aren't I? second. Now this is the thing where I needed the size to just hard baked, hard coated it in. This is where the array count thing comes in handy. I can't even guess if that's worked right, honestly. So yeah, that's it. But that's not one we're going to be able to use for sorting alphanumerically. Because there's more to it than that. Right, because at, at the moment it's sorting numbers, obviously. But to sort alphanumerically, you first of all need to um, you need to sort by like the first letter, and then by like the second letter and the third letter, and so on. So that's what I'd like to try and do as a first kind of thing, um, and also sorting numbers within it as well. I'm not going to sort numbers sensibly at first, I'm just going to do the stupidest way. So it put like a 1, and then 10, and then 11, and then 12, before doing 2 and 20. I think, I think that's what I'm going to try and do anyway. So, how would I go about that? Let's first of all set up uh watch that's gonna be car. So car star star. Could it be that? Not sure if this is gonna be right actually. Let's see. I'm not sure if this syntax is correct, honestly. Oh. What? Oh. Yeah. oh god, I need to actually give it a name, don't I? Yeah, 
Incompatible point types, initializing car style style. Okay. Oh, interesting. So maybe if I were to do that, would that be right? Okay, so it's kind of like that. Could be right. Interesting. So in that case, I wonder what happened if I just pass it. Uh, I can't pass. Let me just make up the sorting routine that takes cars. Could I just do that? I wonder. Sort. Sort string. Sort string. It's going to take strings. Yeah, this is that thing actually, I need to, I probably need to mark it really, honestly. But until I do, can I just do that? I don't even know if I can actually. to really yeah I can't use that swap can I either which is unfortunate and you probably can't actually just straight up swap them like this can you because it'll probably end up just swapping like the first character, probably. Uh, no, it's in here, isn't it? Passing on into Proto Array. No. What's the problem? Incompatible pointer types. Passing car. Yeah, it's not going to be that at all. So let's think. So what is happening? I can use a swap that takes a car star star. Let's see. Interesting. That 
you know, but I need to star star all of these guys. Just try taking those off again. Incompatible point to oh, this needs to be wow. Handmade dev is here. Hello, handmade dev. <laughs> Good to see you. The internals of the swap will be the same as int one, only difference will be changing int temp for car star temp. Car star temp, okay. Who is this Abner? Yeah, I know. Who is this Abner? Great music programming. Yeah. I think this is the last track, actually. Yeah, it is. Oh, well, I've got the Y coming on next, so I can't have, to, can't have that. <laughs> I to think of some. British handmade series with those hearts. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, handmade dev hasn't actually officially arrived yet. So, handmade dev, could you tell me how long are you thinking of, uh, well, not how long, but when are you thinking of streaming? Because I believe you're doing a test stream. Is passing caster to put around the switch ring. In about 15 minutes. Okay, cool. That's fine. I don't know that I've got much done by then, but I will be uh, in your stream. Here's what you need. That should be a test stream. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, my head isn't really kind of uh, in gear today, so I don't know that I'm really going to get much done, however long I take. 15 minutes, you say. Okay, half past. Okay. So, what's it say? Incompatible point starts passing car star. For, um, uh, you can't just do that, can you? That cannot be right. I've never seen that before. Need more GMT friendly streams. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, of course, cause you're down in Plymouth, right? Rest I think. How's the... Um, How's the weather down there? Have you uh, had any effects of the, the flooding at all? 7pm. What? Oh, steel go on saying 7pm. <laughs> 30 minutes. Okay, 30 minutes. Let's see. Uh, passing arguments are perimeter A here. Yeah. Okay, okay, cool. Yeah, it's been alright here as well. I mean, I'm in the northwest, but fortunately, my specific area hasn't been affected. Your sort string for wants to take an array of strings, so that would be a car star star instead of just a car. Okay, sort string. Uh, right. Take an array of strings. Yeah, because basically, I think as I understand it, a string 
is an array itself, isn't it? It's an array of characters. So how can I will this just work then? It's got some place called God, yeah, absolutely. Oh, there's been looting, I didn't know that. Hello, Connor. Good to see you. Gosh, yeah, I hadn't, uh, they hadn't covered that on the news, I don't think. The looting. Six streets are arrays of cars. Hmm. So we've got... Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on a second. <laughs> could actually do with... Uh, Giving these some sane names. I'm alright, Connor. I am alright. Although, am I? No, I'll take it back. I'm not alright at all. Because these should be sorted, shouldn't they? Sorted string. Uh, and they're not sorted at all. They're just, they've come back exactly as I sent them in. Do I need to actually make sure? I send the right thing to it. Oh no, hang on. Strings. Getting sorted by pointer. Yeah. Hmm. Yes, they are getting sorted. Right. How are you sorting the strings? Like what is the final level supposed to be? At the moment it's just supposed to be... Um, it's supposed to look like Asaf Gartner, insofar as PT Daddy and then Russell Elo. Uh, so if there was... Yeah, in fact, I'll tell you what. As I was saying, I haven't actually thought this thought this bit through properly because I thought it would have to be different this um, string sorting bit array and the car star I know if you want this you have to change the comparison in the sort yeah so you want to start indirect in your compare Uh, is that what we see? That can't be right, can it? Can it? I don't know that that's swapped the right thing though. Oh god, it has. So, that's interesting. So now let me just see what actually happens if I give it two things with the same... No, well, I'll just get Connor in here for now. Connor... And let's, and let's whack... Uh, Abner. Yeah, let's, let's put Abner in there as well. Right. So we've got Abner and we've got Asaf in there. Hmm? Yeah, I need to... Can be a bit more sensible with that. Before you sort of some point of address. Mm -hmm. For our sorting based on pointer address. Yes, that's right. Or rather, a pointer to that value, right? A pointer to that to that element. I wonder why that didn't do anything at all. Though. I forget to change the count of the call. Oh, it sort string. Count and the call to sort string. Ah, oh, nice one. Oh, hang on a minute. 
actually to uh, it shouldn't need your ampersand in the swap string yeah. okay won't work yeah I don't think it's gonna it, what it shouldn't do should it uh, hang on let's get to up there so if I just uh, delete to show you that I just put Abner after the stuff. Lots of things going on here, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's right. So basically, uh, let me just check this thing that's still going on the same as well. Swap string. I shouldn't need the ampersand in my swap string. Oh, okay. You do need the ampersand since you're moving the cars around in the car star star line. Yeah. Incompatible compatible pointer types. Passing car star to primitive type. Car star star. Take the address with that. Yeah. But there are already addresses. Um. I think they're already they're already pointers, aren't they? I think. Uh, hang on. Even if you pass by reference, pass by pointer and see so swap can be assigned. Them. Let's just see if I can make this a bit more explicit. Um, could I? Just sig don't see the signature of swap string, so maybe that's what I'm thinking. Swap string. That takes this. So it takes the car star star. Uh, although it's the same for the two types that seems to be making sense to steal gold yeah you need the okay so to sort my string If that is less than that, then swap them. If it isn't, then don't bother. What we need to do is we need to then go on to the next character. it's less than it let me see so if a ray j what's the case that I'm after here we need, need a third loop in sort string yeah that's what I'm thinking which will then loop over the uh, the whole string. What's his first case? So, um, if they are the same, then we just swap them. But if not, sorry, if it's if it's less, then we swap. If it's the same. I'm just wondering where we want to do it actually, like whether we want to do the less than thing first or the the same case. 
if it's equal to that, then we're going to go, then we're going to iterate through and shift, shifty them into the right place. Actually, I've gone. Because if we do that, if we do that swap, oh, I gone. No, if it's not. Uh, if it's not less than, then it doesn't matter if we don't swap them. Because we need to compare the next characters if the two quadratic bushings are equal. Yeah. If they both equal. So. So I wouldn't need to enter that loop, would I? If it's less than a row. get a bit weird actually. And this this cannot be right actually, can it? If int k is equal to j I'm thinking. Oh, hang on a second, I need to know the... I need to know the length of the array, don't I? I think. K is less than the uh, array count. I'm sure this is going to go terribly wrong. It's only the way you want it to work. Uh, let's see. Let me see if I can. Um, if they are, if they are the same, should write a separate comparison function. Ah, oh, right. Okay. So. This is actually this is it is a separate one, kind kind of, because I've got the swap for the um, swap for the integers here. Oh, sorry, the um, oh, I've got a separate comparison function. Oh right, I'm making this confusing certainly. Okay, so. Avoid compare compare strings, and it's going to take the views if you want to look Q sort. Uh -huh, okay, so it's going to be it's just going to take two strings, isn't it? I'd imagine. Strings. At the time, actually, we've got 15 minutes to sort of happen as well. Uh, well, sod it. There's a common way to write these functions. It takes two arguments and returns minus one if the first argument is smaller, zero if equal, one if first argument is bigger. Oh, right. Okay. So. <laughs> uh, if. It's a bit long, but I mean, I'll put it on. Or is it actually? Is it a long one? 32 minutes, well, 
I mean, we'll cut it short. What happens it comes on? So it takes two arguments. Turns one if argument is smaller. Delicious. Suppose argument is smaller. So if a is less than b, then return uh, minus one. Is this right? That's right. Actually, can I just do that? Yeah, I can. Says we do string first is a bit more complicated. But it's supposed to be testing the ASCII value on it, won't it? So like A would be smaller than B. No, this would be smaller than that. Can't be compared by pointers again. This is where you need to put the looping through characters a bit. Hmm. Turn that if A should proceed B. Okay. Yes. Look, man, just getting one of your streams to bed. Thanks very much for Soilo. Good night and sleep well. Hope I didn't bore you to tears. So we need to put the loop into your character. Okay, so. Uh, I mean, it's taking. Is it really taking that? Isn't that what I want? Uh. Yeah, I can do the i is not equal to. Uh, hang on. i is not equal to. Oh, hang on a second. So, I feel like I'm not understanding something kind of fundamental here. Um, yeah, 
he's saying that turn that if A should proceed B. I mean, I'm kind of, as I understand it, uh, oh, hang on a second, no, it's not even that, is it, it's, um, it's if, uh, it's that, isn't it, if AI is less than BI, that's what I want, probably. What is happening here, though? Control may reach end of non-void function. But they're returning. I th that's what it's saying, isn't it? So if I were to return something... Well, maybe could just put something. Silly thing thinks you can get out of the fall early. <laughs> Right, yeah. So I've done this compare strings. Let me see if I can... Uh, Compile it. It's Fire Jake. Fire Jake's here. Hi, Fiery. So the if statements cover up as well as it thinks all the if statements may value to false. I'm sorry, mm. Yeah, of course. It's a very good point. <laughs> Actually, honestly, no, still doesn't like it. No, it knows the loop when you're not run at all. Seeing here. This stuff is mostly different. You should be thinking about how to compare two strings. <laughs> yeah. So basically, what I want to do is I want to um, loop through the first character and see if it, see if one or the other is 
greater. Uh, if not, then I want to go to the next character. I want to basically go through the whole string. Like the whole of the first string, I'd say. Oh, actually, hang on a minute. Because if the, if the strings are different lengths... Uh, you know, like, say like if I had this... Say like if I had a staff, and I said a staff got on there. Right. So I had a staff as my A. This is my first string. And then a staff garner, but how would... You know, at, at, at this point it probably... Well, I mean, what I'm trying to do is... Which is wrong, I'm trying to... Iterate to the end of a staff. Uh, and then... Be done with it. And because it would see that these are all the same... It returns error, probably, which would be incorrect. So what I could do is finding a finding a way to uh, mm. oh, that's true. Oh yeah. So once it gets to the zero, it can actually test that zero against the next one. Okay. Or test the null rather. Yoink weapon get probably doesn't use his unit. Oh steel golem, you you legend. We're gonna see your Canadian beard on stream. I need to watch the uh me once I've got to a line immediately below surf. Yeah, so Just see how the capacitor goes. Yeah, yeah, compare them. And then it'd have the uh the null would be here. Uh and that would so I'd have to I'll have to actually get the get it to compare the null. Canadians look the same as everyone else, just have a funny way of talking. Hey. <laughs> hey. Exactly. I just need to watch out for um for the time here actually. Abner's said something. I don't know. Abner hasn't said anything. So I'm just gonna join Handmade Dev. Uh Because uh, uh, once Abner goes live, I can just. Watch your hang on. Will it be on his handmade dev or will it be his own channel? There's a bug in this function. I'm sure there's a bug in this function blog. I'm sure there is. It's not done yet, so probably. <laughs> exactly. Special feature. Oh right, yeah it was. It was uh that was Steam. <laughs> okay, so M your key ninety nine. Uh hang on a second. Um I'll add you I'll add you once I've gone off uh offline steel gold. Take two strings and go step by step through your function. Uh, Alright then. Um, that will happen if CD and CF will be compared. Uh, well, I'll just use a SAF for now. So, A is going to be a SAF and B is going to be a SAF garden. So if, if A 
Uh, bearing in mind that I haven't actually finished this, so it will enter the loop. Hopefully, which I should put it up here, really. AI is going to be that first. If it's not equal to that, then it should enter the loop. I mean, what was uh, what's Fiery saying before? He was saying that it might not enter the loop. Hang on a minute, what's happening here? How he's tracking these streamers? Okay. Still working on it. Yeah. I suppose it couldn't hurt there to, to walk through and see what I need to do next. So, yeah. Mind you, if that first thing is null, but how could that first character be null? So I didn't tell the two balls. No, no, no. If that is less than B, so if if A is less than B, then yeah, it's just it, it's uh, it's just gonna return. It's not gonna loop, is it? In fact, that's pretty interesting. I probably want to do the four differently, don't I? So I'm not interested in the. It's not the length that I'm interested in, really. Where the hell is my cursor? <laughs> right. Um, it's not the length that I'm interested in. It's really the the difference between these guys. Although we do need to iterate, don't we? Need to somehow iterate. No, that would be right. Is it? Uh, so okay. Uh, if that, it's just going to return. So if that is less than b. Then it'll return minus one. And it's out of there, isn't it? It's just gonna return it and get out of it. Which we find. Right, but if uh, if they're equal, it's just it's gonna return zero and get out of there. So it's not that that I want, is it? It's really it's really this kind of a thing. I want it to enter the loop. And if they are the same, then I want it to continue. That's what I want, isn't it? So to just feel like killing off in the bar, or she <laughs> oh, don't, don't worry about it, Connor. I don't know if you caught the intro, by the way, but uh, this stream is called. Um, what did I call it again? What did I say? I said welcome. Oh yeah, it's just called uh, ASM R. Is what I called it. It's ASM. How would I work out how, if the strings were different? Manually catch my catch. Okay. Well, I would. Um, I would check each character. So, what I'd do is I'd sort of say, are these characters the same? And if they are, 
then I want to go to the next character to find when two strings are different. Well, I'll just continue with this for now. I'd say if the if the coaches are the same, then I continue. If not, ah right. Else, if uh, that is less than yeah, that's the um oh be sure to the nay. well, in that case um. B will end with a null, won't it? So when we test G against the null, it won't be the same. So you're still saying, when would I, how would I sort that out? Can I just ask you? Yeah, how would I do that though? How would I pick the maximum number of characters? Can I do just like a size of? Pick the maximum number of characters chest row. Hang on a minute. What have I, haven't I just, didn't I start off with this actually? I started off with the if and the, the ifs in there, didn't I? And I don't, I don't want that to return, do I? That's what it is. If that. Don't need the string guns. Just need to count the characters. Yeah, I don't have the C standard library. You say incrementing your eye. But I have to do it for each string though, wouldn't I? I'd have to go through A until it's not A. Until it's not thingamajig. I sure started off with this time. Okay. 
Okay, so if AI is equal to the and I want it to loop. Continue, maybe? But I don't, want it, I don't want it to continue to the else if, do I? It's just going to continue iterating through. This should be right, actually, shouldn't it? Shouldn't that just be it? Why are they leaving out the compare? Hang on. Why no leaving out the compare? But equals complete. Sorry, Glug, I'm not sure I understand that. solution. Excuse me, the equals equals is redundant. And the if else Okay, Sas got a challenge. The if else should be inside. Since you want to continue through the for loop until one of those cases is true. Sort of wild true loop instead of a far loop. I wonder why not cast a previous use, but it needs to be. Anyway. Oh right. Okay. Hmm. Gone. Let me just do what Asaf was saying. So, well, true. Uh, if they're equal, then do nothing. Well, if we're equal, then uh, plus plus i basically is what we want to do. Right. Then increment I. Do the itself fail. Then we go back through. We just keep inc incrementing I. Until they're not the same. Uh, 
Patriots. In that case, it's false. How do you know if you should return positive or negative results? Oh, you're talking about Glog's thing. Feels right to me, guys, but honestly, it could not be. Let's see if I can try and use this to return if current character is greater than less than inside the loop, return zero outside the loop. Yeah. Don't use glogs, the Okay. So I won't use yours glog. Okay. Uh let's try this. If it work fine then unless the two strings are identical. <laughs> Alright. What should I pass it? Oh, hang on. Still, Golem feels good about it. Uh, okay. What do you mean, of course? I need to somehow pass some stuff to it. Compare strings. It's going to return an int. Right. So we've got an int. Uh, uh, comparison. It's going to be in equal to string compare. What? What's the function called? Is it compare strings? Yeah. And it's going to take. Uh, it's going to take. Uh, God, blimey, how do you do this actually? Yeah, blimey, my head is like not in gear at all at the moment. Uh, test. And testicles. Is that about testicles? Pretty sure that's not even right. How do you pass things again? So an array. Oh, you just pass it as uh, programming is hard work. It is. So I'm going to just send. Can I do that? Who is teaching? You guys are. You're the teachers. <laughs> I've got a second. Let me just. Uh, if zero, most of this out. Having a streaming, okay. Let's just see if this builds, and if not, then screw it. Right, screw it. So we're over to having a stream. So uh, <laughs> thanks for watching, dudes. And sorry, I made very little progress. String definition cast. Oh, string one equals hello. Okay. Well, we can pick this up tomorrow anyway. 
thank you as well as if I was uh, hopefully tomorrow I'll start a bit earlier and maybe not be so tired but anyway thank you again and see you in Abner's room farewell for now baby steps indeed yeah